Hello, my name is Scott Nigger, and welcome to your third Blender 2.6 tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be adding color to our Christmas tree that we made in the previous tutorial. So, let's open up Blender 2.6. And if you had closed it by the time, or in between, the two, this tutorial and the previous tutorial, all you have to do is click on File, Open Recent, and if you saved it like I, I did, all you have to do is press this one right here, which is going to be the Christmas tree tutorial, and look, there we go, there's our Christmas tree, yay! Okay, so the first thing we're going to want to do, we're going to want to add materials to this, but first I want to go into face mode. To do this, you can see all these different things down here, but what we want to click on is right here, is face mode, which allows us to select the faces. Alright, first of all, to make this simple on ourselves, we just want, we want to make these top ones here, we want to make those ones green, and only those ones green. But we might not be able to actually do that, but let's try that. Let's just go through this right now. Hit A, and then what we have to do is we can going to deselect everything. So what we want to do is we want to hit Shift B. Okay. No, that's not what I want. Okay. So we just gotta do this the, or, no, the long way. Just deselect the entire trunk. And that includes the bottom ones. We're done deselecting all of the trunk. So let's hurry this up, or let's try to hurry this up. So, what do, you, what do you guys get for Christmas? I'll leave a comment below if you want. Um, yeah, I don't know what I got for Christmas. It's still 1 o'clock in the morning, no Christmas day, and I'm still up. Yes, I know that's ridiculous, but oh well. Who said people can't be ridiculous? Okay, so now what we want to do to add a material to this, to make it actually look like a Christmas tree, because we're not actually going to be using a texture for right now. So let's just put that in plain view. We're going to go over here to this right here. This uh, sphere right here, which is going to be our material editor, or whatever you want to call it. And then you got to click this. Add a new material to slot, or add new material slot, and as you can see, it added a new material. We just want to send it to that. I'm gonna add new, and we're gonna name this. Uh, uh, not branches. Let's just name this leaves because the, they are leaves, literally. And what we want to do is so we'll click here. Up. Uh, I knew that would happen. So we're just going to make the whole thing green. Let's put it over here. And then slide this down to make it a darker green. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. Uh, whoa. Okay, I think I figured that out. Okay. So let's do this. And we're gonna press. Yeah, that, that's looking good. Maybe we can increase the intensity. Okay, specularity intensity. We can change that to make it look shiny or not shiny. It shouldn't be too shiny. So I'm just gonna move it down. And we're going to assign this. Maybe if we assign. Okay. So we're going to just hit deselect. And there's a Christmas tree, but 
what happened to our bottom we wanted that to be our trunk we actually have to create a new tutorial er, material for this so let's just scroll in and we're going to be using uh, I guess it can be called a quick selector or something but we have to press uh, hold up a second we have to hold press B actually oops Gosh dang it. I'm gonna press. Let's check this out. Okay, I don't know what the problem is. I'm gonna press B. And now you can see this stuff. And all you have to do is just create a box to highlight everything. And it'll automatically highlight that part of it. It's not gonna highlight the other parts because we're not in the correct mode for that. but we can just make this easier ourselves by doing it this way and then we're going to hit B again do our other bottom part just make sure you don't highlight anything it doesn't need to be highlighted and then we we'll want to just B again highlight everything and yes there we go okay so over here, we're going to click New, Sign, and whoa, there, there goes the green. Okay, so we're going to put New, and then we're going to click here. And I, I ended up messing with this a lot a while ago, so I kind of roughly know what to do. Okay, you gotta drag that down. Okay, that's looking okay, and then you just increase the intent or decrease the intensity. I'm just gonna hit aside. Now now it looks like a Christmas tree. Let's hit A to deselect all. And look, actually, I think I should increase that intensity a little bit. Or, yeah. Because that's looking too dark. And we're just going to hit, or we're going to go into, uh, back into regular mode by hitting tab. And there we go. There's our nice Christmas tree, which actually doesn't have shading, but it looks quite nice. Despite the faces and everything but hey this is a quick tutorial and this is your only your second tutorial you're making a Christmas tree uh, that'll be all I can teach you in this tutorial for right now I guess why don't we uh, save this that's probably gonna ask me if I want to overwrite oh no the old one used to do that all the time and now it doesn't do that anymore Thank goodness it doesn't. Okay. Well, thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial. Like this video, or this video. Subscribe to my channel. See you guys next time. Bye.